This video will show a brief overview of advanced animation options in SOLIDWORKS. First off, we're going to add a simple explode animation to our motion study. As shown in the basic animations video, the model will explode piece by piece. Now let's take a closer look at the animation timeline. These diamonds represent keyframes of different parts of the assembly. These keyframes can actually be selected and moved on the timeline. So originally we had the assembly exploded piece by piece over 5 seconds, but now we're going to adjust the keyframes so all the pieces move at the same time. That's it for all the keyframes. Now let's look how the animation has changed. The pieces remain stationary initially, but then all move at the one second mark. Now let's look at changing camera angles. Right click on the orientation and camera view option and select the disable view key creation. This will allow you to integrate changes to the camera angles. First select a time on the timeline and then change the view. Once finished, you can see that the timeline now contains a black bar from the beginning until the 3 second mark. This represents the camera angle changing from the initial position to the marked position over the 3 second time frame. This animation also includes when the object explodes at 2 seconds. We can manually select the points on the timeline to see how the object changes over time. Now currently we have a gap after 3 seconds. We're going to add another camera change to zoom back out and see the entire exploded view. We're going to do that at the 4 second mark. One of the pitfalls of animations is to constantly have pieces moving. To avoid this, we're going to create a new keyframe at the 4 second mark by right clicking and adding a key. Then we're going to select the 5 second mark on the timeline before we change the view. Now when we run this animation, we should have movement up to 3 seconds, a slight 1 second pause, and then it will zoom out for a second. This concludes the advanced animation tutorial video.